So for today, we're going to be looking at Gift of Conviction for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we're going to be doing the new exotics and the ornaments. Now, speaking of ornaments, I should probably say this before we get started. Don't expect a exotic ornament video, which I usually do that, um, just because the new exotics got the ornaments. So instead of uh, taking the ornament out of the video, we're just going to uh, combine the ornament video and the exotic video into one. So that way you guys can just see one video instead of two videos. So expect the base look of it and the ornament i have both sets and i think both sets look amazing i actually don't know which one is my favorite but so i will have to ask you guys which one is your favorite in the comments below because i do think both of them look amazing so if this is your first video we we're going to be looking at what the exotic actually does i'll show hopefully some examples of what it does talk about if it's good or bad and then we'll immediately go into the fashion of it uh, specifically how it looks and how it shaders and then the example set and then we do it all over again for an ornament so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help other than that let's get into it so to start off the exotic perk is called the gift of certainty activate ascension or tempest strike throws bouncing explosives at nearby targets that jolt and damage them jolting nearby targets grants you damage resistance so i talked a lot of shit about this exotic before it even came out before like i think when they got introduced and we saw what it actually did my first thought was this is doa this is gonna be trash this is gonna be not as bad as light ranger but almost as bad and i'm very surprised at my reaction when i first got the exotic and started using it because it wasn't bad um that being said if you are on prismatic it is going to be a shame because you will only be able to do ascension and not tempest strike so you are kind of gimped there but if you are on arc you will definitely be using ascension and tempest strike that being said dog if i'm gonna i'm gonna be completely honest with you i hate tempest strike i fucking hate that melee it's so terrible and this is one of those situations where tempest strike walked so that way the warlock and titan melees could fucking run because they got way better slide melees than us um because i think tempest strike is genuinely trash but that being said i don't hate this exotic i think the damage resistance is pretty cool jolting nearby enemies that's going to be super easy because you can jolt pretty much on ability usage depending on your build and i think weapons as well if i remember correctly so it is really cool i just question like do you want damage resistance like my genuine thought process is like i don't think this is gonna be viable for like high-end content uh definitely like a fuck around in vanguard playlist uh not night not nightfalls but just like not the uh the regular strike playlist i think that's fine because it's gonna be fun but anything with high-end activity i just don't think because a you have to do it through either ascension or tempest strike and ascension if you're using that in high-end content you're gonna die immediately tempest strike is the same thing yeah i don't see people using these two at all maybe jolting with weapons or ability usage but the, i don't even know how much that damage resistance is so i would have to like look up how much that damage resistance is and honestly i'm i don't even think i need it spe 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 uh, specifically for like certain builds that i have i already get dr and even then like i don't know let me know what you guys think about this exotic as for how it actually looks the base look of it is pretty cool um definitely gives me like techno fantasy warrior type feel which is kind of like where i was going with for my example set but i definitely think it's really cool looking and thankfully the glows actually do change colors so you're not gimped there the only thing that is kind of annoying for some people i don't really care for it too much personally but the lines and the chest piece do not change color but they do shader really well as in you will see them in different colors but the lines will still be there so i guess that's a negative or positive depending on what kind of person you are the wires in the back actually change color as well because they do glow that's pretty cool and i do appreciate that but overall i genuinely do like how it looks let's see how it actually shaders so again like i said shaders really well there is not a lot of pieces where i'm like the off colors here that's terrible or the fact that the wires in the back do change color and the like little balls do change color as well the eyeball things yeah overall i'm really happy that this chest piece shaders really well because it just makes me 
not be annoyed to use it because if it's shaded terribly i can promise you a thousand percent i probably wouldn't wear it as much as i do i know that's pretty petty but this exact this exotic's already like not that great in my eyes because the perk is just kind of like it's passable and if it didn't shader well it would just be like it would be tipping the edge of like i don't give a fuck about this exotic anymore so thankfully it does shader really well as for the example set oh man this is it's hard to like not like this one personally because i think each piece just goes together really well for the helmet shadow mask for the arms grips of trepidation for the chest piece obviously we're using the new exotic the dendrite shimmer strides and the dendrite shimmer cloak so i think this set looks amazing specifically because welded brass a the only off color here is going to be in the boots specifically like at the bottom you guys will see that white like that like a uh, purple white that's going to be the only off color here because everything else is shading really really well the arms specifically i got a shout out because the arms are notoriously annoying to shader and for this it looks pretty cool uh the only thing i would pro honestly the only thing i would switch out would be the dendrite shimmer strides just because a they have off colors on the boots but they also have the off color in the inner thigh that's silver so i would probably just switch out the dendrite shimmers for something else but that is the only weakness from this set because i think the chest piece and the arms look completely amazing the helmet and the cloak also look completely amazing like everything looks amazing so let me know what you guys think about this set as for the ornament it's called sincerity and i sincerely love the look of this that being said there is a negative here and for those of you who have been watching my content for a while or just know about the fashion in this game you might have guessed that the glow does not change color you are correct unfortunately let's just get into the shadering because i think we're going to be talking about it for a while yeah the shadering is not atrocious because there's some pieces where i'm like okay at least the main chest piece changes to the main color there are some there are some off colors here and there but nothing too like egregious egregious in my opinion it's the fact that the glow doesn't change color that is the most egregious thing here because again <sighs> whoever at bungie was just like i want it to be blue because i need it to be blue either way either that or there's like a bug in the system where it's like well we couldn't change it to blue we couldn't change the color of it i would really love to just talk to a bungie uh, employee specifically the one who makes the armor sets in in the game like why are some pieces unshaderable because this should not have been lit to be fair they probably didn't want to switch switch the blue out because they're like oh well the blue will showcase that this is an arc exotic which i think that's a cop-out i think i i think not i think i actually hate that reasoning because it's just dumb but if that's the reasoning i guess like whatever but yeah that is pretty much it for the shading as for the example set i posted this for the first ascent hunter video which is right here and i genuinely love this set for the helmet idol on pursuant mask for the arms diamond spawn grips for the chest piece obviously the sincerity ornament for the boots by carrying strides and then for the mark obviously the first ascent mark so genuinely love this set this is probably the coolest tactical set i made just because it's it honestly that chest piece really really makes everything look really well for the shader omnicrony is what we're using unfortunately the belt buckle is the off color as well which is very unfortunate i would have much preferred if it wasn't just because it would have made this set a little bit better but this is you will see all of the off colors and i just i think it's a little too much i think the belt buckle and the the thing on the belt should not have been the off color but i mean i don't i don't do this i would love to have that job where it's like oh what what, what colors do you want and i'd be like this this and this should be shouldn't be the off color and this should be the off color and, and then just take it away program it for me so yeah that's pretty much it for the video i just go through the fashion of it, how it looks and how it shaders because that's pretty much my channel at this point fashion related stuff and honestly i do like this exotic now that i've used it a lot more but i do think the ornament holds it back a little bit just because the glow doesn't change color and it's funny because the base look of it does change all of it all of it does change color but it's just the fact that like the ornament the blue doesn't change color the off colors are in pretty terrible spots which is very unfortunate but yeah let me know what you guys think expect the new boots that the hunters got and then we'll go to titans and then we'll go to warlocks so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later